New Gaddy checking in. <laughs> Out here enjoying the day, I'm telling you. Listen, this video is not about me having fun out on the river. <laughs> I know it's not. I'm telling you, I got a, let's see, a message. Well, it was a comment from uh, Christopher. I believe the last name was Sullivan. He's a lot like uh, a lot of my uh, subs. Um, he doesn't make videos. Well, he has two videos up, but they're old, old videos. Anyway, he says him and the boys are over in Iraq and that uh, they want a beef stew uh, over the open fire. So even though I'm having, <laughs> I could have fresh fish tonight, I'm gonna have beef stew for uh, Christopher. I'll put a link for him down below. And I, I, I appreciate uh, him uh, uh, commenting and uh, they, they it was some, some nice words he had to say there so hey listen at least I could do is <laughs> make some beef stew uh-huh in the in the camp made Dutch oven check it out Bill Gowdy checking back in <laughs> man winds come up a little bit a little bit of a breeze coming out of the north <laughs> north uh, east actually Peppy, the Pew, uh-huh. Collector series, uh, Pepsi Collector series from 1973, uh-huh. And that's just iced tea. Mm. With a little bit of lemon in there. Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna get to, I got fish to clean. <laughs> and so, uh, I'm gonna get the, the beef stew on and let it uh, cook while I'm cleaning fish and getting all the rest of that stuff ready to go. So uh, check this out, will you? I already have all my veggies cut, uh-huh, ready to go. I'm not gonna put uh, potatoes in, in mine because I'm maintaining that low carb, but I'm putting zucchini in there. I got cloves of garlic, I got onion, green peppers, uh, I got some chili peppers that I put in there, and some carrots, some celery. Uh huh. And I love the mushrooms. Oh yeah, I sure do. And then here's my beef, and this just uh, uh, stew meat is all it is. Yeah, this cubed up beef. And I did put uh, a meat tenderizer on that uh, before I went out fishing. So yeah, that's just been sitting in the meat. Uh, Adolph's meat tenderizer. And then. Uh, a couple of bottled water, but I, I usually use uh, uh, beef broth, but I don't have any, so I'm going to make my own. I'm going to brown that beef first in my Camp made Dutch oven. Check it out. I've had that tripod for a long time, and I believe I got it at the farm store oh many years ago. I saw I saw something similar to it uh, at uh, uh, Bass Pro Shop. Yep, they had a tripod, very similar. I want to thank the people at Camp Made. They just make an awesome awesome product. That Dutch oven it just works so good. If you want to uh, order one, uh, enter Gaudi 20 and I get you 20% off. I'll put a link for them down below. Check it out. That's looking good. I think it's time to add some water. I'm going to add two bottles of water, I do believe. That's not refrigerated water, that is just uh, regular room temperature or ambient temperature water. But you can see it, it halts the cooking process for a short time. It's 
so easy. <laughs> yeah. I know that's enough for an army. I like to buy I like to make leftovers. Makes it so much easier. Now that'll cook down quite a bit. And I may have to add more liquid, we'll see. Right now you can see just just enough liquid in there. But those veggies, as they cook down, they'll add a little bit as well. So I'll put the lid on. Now we just let it simmer. I'll go, I'll go clean some fish and bring you back when they uh, get ready. Looking good. You people who watch my channel regularly, you know that's the kickstand from the Camp Made. It is just an awesome tool. Yeah, lift the lid and then give the place to set down. It's just great. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. I'd say it's ready. I think we need to take that off and let it rest a little bit and cool down just a tad bit. But boy, that's looking good. Oh. Oh, that smells good. Look, yeah, I'm gonna say it, look at the goodness. Let's get the priority straight, shall we? <laughs> you know, uh, the Bill Gowdy twist, that's for sure. Look at that right there. Thank you, Evie Crawfish. Thank you, Mark. He made that knife. Yeah, it's got an opener built right into it. Uh-huh, ice cold bottle. One frosted beer mug, a 180 degree day. Let's see if I can get this poured in there proper. Look at that, will ya? 12 full ounces. Ice cold mug. That is good. Let's get to eating, shall we? Oh, look. Look how tender that is. Mm. 
Hmm. Wow. I just love everything in here is from the garden. I didn't grow the celery or the garlic. Mm. Or the mushrooms. <laughs> Put all the peppers in. Mm. Look at that. Huh? That is so good. And it's perfect this time of year. It's cooling down at night, 80 degrees during the day, getting down in the 50s. Oh. Mm. <laughs> that is good. I want to thank Chris for, for all the support. For everything he does and for all the inspiration you know i've made uh beef stew before uh the last time i made it uh it was just real quick and i used all frozen vegetables and beef broth and and threw it in the, in the uh, camp made kettle uh dutch oven and uh, this time uh, i used all the garden fresh vegetables everything i could right out of the garden oh it is so good I'd like to stick around and talk to you a little more, but you know what? I'm tired. <laughs> I'm going to hit the hay. I had a busy day out on that river today, and I tell you what, it just took a lot out of me. Got all those fish clean. Uh, now uh, I'm ready to take a little nap and do it all again tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Go Gowdy out.